everybody doing? So happy to be out tonight. I haven't been out of Valencia in three months. Excuse me. Somebody fix this for me, please. Some ma'am. So, my name is Antoinette Perigine. Those of you from Brooklyn might know me as Antoine Perigina. <laughs> what can I do for you? I'm Detective Ortiz. This is Detective Murphy. We're with the New York City Police. Let's see some ID. You have a patient here named Tracy Llewellyn. Last scheduled appointment was a week ago, Monday, 10 a.m. Patient records are confidential. If you want to see them, you're going to need a court order. Tracy Llewellyn was murdered last night. We can get a court order. We can close you down while we comb through your records. Or you could cooperate and answer a few questions. Let's hear the questions. Was Tracy Llewellyn pregnant? In her first trimester. Was she here by herself? A guy was with her, older, nice looking. White, black? White. Kind of grayish hair. I think he had some kind of beard. Would you know him if you saw him again? Probably. Not too many people paying cash. Thanks for your time. Something happened with her you might want to know about. She and her guy go to meet with the doctor, and while they're back there, another guy comes in who's also a detective, so he says. Shows me a badge. I go to write down his information, same as I did with you, and that's when he admits that he's a private detective. What was he here for? He wanted to know, was Tracy Llewellyn pregnant? Would you have what you wrote down about him handy? Yeah. Names, Nick Mastriano. This is the PI license number on his card. Thanks. He used to say things to me like, what's the matter with you? <laughs> There's something wrong with the way your mind thinks. <laughs> it's like, it's not my fault. I was like two years old. I was learning how to walk. <laughs> He was very tough on me. He got very frustrated with me. He'd like, you know, wipe his hands on my bib and like walk away. <laughs> Forget Wilt. My brother-in-law could cook a 10-pound turkey with his breath. Oh. I told my sister she's got a whole new grounds for divorce. Irreconcilable odors. <laughs> that breath is just a medical condition, right, Lou? Well, so is athlete's foot. You don't see me wanting to sit next to her at Easter dinner. <laughs> That's true. Ooh. Oh. And of course, my Aunt Josephine would be at every game. Everybody has an Aunt Josephine. <laughs> Aunt Josephine is one of those people that knows everything. No matter what you say to my Aunt Josephine, her response is always, Now I know! Now I know! Why have a conversation with that? I have a very good friend who works for NASA. Right? He's like a... What, I can't have a friend who works for NASA? <laughs> anyway, this friend from NASA calls me up the day. The day that that NASA space probe discovered that Pluto's not a planet. Do you remember this? I was psyched. Because I love that space shit. I think I'm Barbarella to begin with. So I'm in Brooklyn, right? And I run out to the stoop. And then Aunt Josephine is out there with 14 of the other neighbors and they're all smoking. And I'm like, you guys, you're not going to believe what I just found out. I just found out that they just discovered that Pluto is not a planet. And you know what Aunt Josephine says? Now I know. <laughs> I'm like, you can't know. <laughs> Nobody knows. Only NASA. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> I'm like, how could you know? <laughs> what are you, an astronomer now? <laughs> Who are you, Copernicus? <laughs> And if you knew, why didn't you fucking tell somebody? <laughs> and they're all naughty. <laughs> Turns out they all knew. He burned himself. Yeah. So you say this happened while you were at work? The manager called me. 
He had the cops and the fire department there. They were all yelling, so I grabbed Byron and I brought him here. Manager? Yeah, we live in a motel. The Harbor View. Although there's no harbor and there's no view. <laughs> Byron set the room on fire. I guess we probably don't live there anymore. <laughs> Excuse me, Dr. Ross. Uh, hey, Mrs. Beals? Could you excuse me just for a second? It's not really Mrs., but that's okay. Uh -huh. Look, I really need to make the afternoon shift or I'm going to lose my job. Byron will be okay with you, right? I can't leave yet. I have to, or they'll fire me. I'm just going to have to take Byron with Listen, me. Listen, Byron has to still see the child psychiatrist. He's in there with him now. Dr. Ross, please, I really need this gig. Um, yeah, okay. All right, well, um... We'll watch out for Byron. You get back as soon as you can. Thanks. I told please. you there is I no know. missus. Cindy, okay? Please, don't leave yet. Byron's a very sick little boy. He needs psychiatric help. He could have burned himself up in there. Look, I'll take him to work. He likes that. We'll be okay there. Right, listen, okay. Taking him to work is not going to solve any of his problems. Well, neither are you. Look, I really appreciate your help. And I'll do all the follow-up stuff for his hand, but I got a cousin who's going to put us up. And she's waiting out in the car, and she's got a bunch of kids home, so... We really do have to go. Capisce italiano? No. Non abbiamo nessun comunicazione. Soltanto nel letto, se mi capisci. Non metti da soddisfazione nel letto. What the fuck are you two talking no, about? He's okay. He's a, he's a nice. We understand each other. <laughs> She's still talking about the movie The Titanic. She talks about it like she produced it. The Titanic! That's a very good movie, The Titanic. With that boat. <laughs> what do you fucking say to that? And she's like, in that water. She's like, that water was deep. It was so deep, it was too deep. <laughs> And then she leans in, like she's going to share with me something very private, you know, and personal. She says, you know... <laughs> you know, that was a very dangerous shoot for Leo. <laughs> I go, yeah, and hey, Copernicus, why don't you enlighten me? It's dangerous in your face. Because that water was cold. It was so cold, it was too cold. <laughs> What for? Oh, his arm. What? What's wrong with his arm? <laughs> and if it's a girl, Junior. Junior would be good. Junior's good. Won't you tell me how? When I'm back on top, where's the can? Back on top, is the can, honey? Even the street signs in LA are warm and cuddly. I saw a sign, I couldn't believe it, it knocked me off my ass. I saw a sign out here that says bump. Do you see this? It's a 